I am going to gather a piece of bamboo using simple stone tools to create a bamboo fire saw kit. The tool in my right hand is going to be used as a saw blade and a drill bit, and the tool in my left hand is going to be used for splitting, carving, and scraping on the bamboo. So first I have to cut through the walls of the bamboo. That requires a really wide cut. So what I do is I cut two grooves that are parallel to one another, and then I match those two up so it's wide enough. It needs to be wide enough to accommodate the thickness of the stone saw. So once I cut through most of the way through the walls of the bamboo, then I just simply push on it until it breaks. Next, I'm going to cut the piece to length. And once I get most of the way through cutting the walls of the bamboo, I'm going to lay one end of this piece on a log, and I'm going to stand on the off-cut piece and pressure on that. That way I don't accidentally crush the piece that I'm trying to use to make the fire saw out of. To remove the branches, I just pick up a rock from the landscape and bash them off to save time from sawing. And next I get into the most time-consuming part of this, which is splitting. Most of the time that is spent is trying to find a good holding position. So once I find a good holding position, then what I do is I split through each wall of the bamboo, just making sure that those two pieces match up. Now since I'm using a piece of bamboo that has two nodes to it, I need to split it from the other end as well. So what I do is I just make sure those two splits that I'm making match up, and then once I split the both ends, then I just simply grab the two ends and pull them apart. Once I have them pulled apart, I need to sit it in the sun, and what better place to sit it in the sun than the beach? One of the drawbacks to doing bamboo fire saw is that when you gather it from the landscape, the inside of the bamboo needs to dry out in the sun. No matter how dry it is outside, you always need to, dry, to uh, let it dry out in the sun because as it's evaporating the water, when it's drying out, uh, a lot of that moisture gets caught inside the nodes. So here you see me scraping on the saw to gather up some tinder. And so what I'll do is I'll take this saw and that will be sawed back vigorously back and forth while adding a lot of downward pressure um, onto this uh, fireboard piece. So I'm making a small groove in the fireboard piece and once I have that groove carved, once I'm, what I'm gonna do is use the drill bit and I'm gonna drill a small hole in that groove that you just saw. And what's going to happen is the dust from my rubbing back and forth on the saw is going to push through that hole and the coal is going to gather up on the underside in the tinder bundle that I place under there. So to make sure I have enough tinder to get this thing into flames, I'm going to use the bark of the tree that you see behind me in the shot. That's Thespesia pulpulnea, and it's also known as Haiti Haiti locally. You can see me buffing it here to make sure that the fibers are nice and soft. And let's see how we do. All right. So I got everything ready. I've got my fireboard or hearth board with the notch and the hole through it. And I'm going to take this tinder that I made with the bamboo shavings and I'm going to stuff it in the bamboo right under right over top of that hole. I got my extra tinder for in case I get the fire. And I got the lounging dog in the background. Let's see if I can get this working. Uh -huh. so I did not sharpen the edge of my saw yet, so... I like to concentrate on the downward pressure when I'm doing the fire saw. smoking. Make 
sure I'm going to catch it with that tinder bundle and then very gently press it so it comes out of the hole. Ooh, gust of wind just came right there. So I got my coal going in this little tinder bundle and I'll wrap it with the big one. So the fire saw can be done either the way I just did it or where this is planted in the ground and this is held like this. I prefer to do it the way that I did it because I can really get the downward pressure that I want. And this bamboo burns for quite a long time. I'm distracted by the waves. So this tinder bunt, this coal can just sit here for a little bit while it lights up. The surrounding bamboo. And now it's smoking good, so I'll blow harder. Voila! Fire! Sweet. Fire saw is super fun. Um, and like you saw, it's really quick when you have a good kit that's nice and dry. I don't know how long that was, but it wasn't very long. Um, and yeah. So, grab this thing. So there is my little fire burning out now. And here is my kit. It's the edge of the saw right there. It's the remnants of the, well, I could still get another fire out of that. And again, my tool kit. Fun times.